Hey everyone, it's Ken with Ken's Creations. Well, about a couple months ago in the Cricut Mystery Box, we got some Cricut Premium Stamps. And I had a little bit of mixed feelings about it because I'm not a huge stamper and I thought, well, I'm probably not going to use these. However, I found a workaround that has made me fall in love with these stamps and I wanted to show you that today. Um, what I've done is I've actually imported the stamps using my uh, scanner at home and then imported those into the design space, cleaned them up, and then using my uh, writing feature, instead of stamping it, I actually write out the stamps and then using the coordinating images that came with these design, uh, these stamps, you're actually able then to cut around it. So you don't actually stamp the images, but you're going to use the writing feature to actually uh, draw the stamps and it's cool. So the stamps that we got, we got four different stamps. Here is the posh set that came in that mystery box. And you can buy all these sets uh, separate at Cricut.com and I'll give you the links. Um, but with them come coordinating images. On the inside, you get these, on all of them, you get these little links here. I've covered mine up because I have a history in my videos of giving my passcodes and all sorts of stuff. And then people in my comments say, hey, Ken, you just gave your passcode and stuff. And then I have to change it and it's always a mess. Um, so this video I was prepared and actually covered up my information. I learned. So anyways, um, you can actually then download these. Now, if you are part of the Cricut Design Space subscription or Cricut Craft Room subscription, you already have these loaded into your uh, library. So you don't have to do anything, they're already there, which is amazing. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and do this workaround, which I've fallen in love. Now, all you have to do, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna peel off all of the stamps. So take off all of your stamps off of here because what we're going to do is we're actually going to scan this into our computer so we're going to peel off all of your acrylic stamps just put them in a nice safe spot and then when that is done we're going to go ahead and put it face down in your scanner and we're going to scan it as a png file i found that one works better than a jpeg file we're going to save that to our desktop once that's been saved to our desktop, I will show you how to import it into Design Space and clean it up. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and do some designs. So first thing, take off all of them. And as you can see, the reason why we're taking them off, these ones up here have been taken off, these ones down here have not. So if we scan these with the stamps on it, you will not get a clean image. You'll be very sad, you will cry, and you will keep going back and saying, why is it not scanning? Plus it will stick to your scanner, it's not, not very good. So we're gonna go ahead, peel these off, there you go, and it will look like this. We're gonna put this face down in our scanner, scan it, save it to your desktop. So let's go ahead and do that now, and then we'll walk you through the steps on how to import it into Design Space. So I already have my Cricut Premium stamps, stamps taken off and put face down in my Canon MG6200 series, which I use for scanning only. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my scanning button. It's gonna bring up my scanning window, which is right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit the scan button. We're gonna go ahead and double click on my scan here. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and actually to hit show D. And this is where we can change it from a JPEG to a PNG right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the area I want and you can see right here there's, it's giving me these little squares. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a square around the entire thing that I want and get rid of this square that I don't want. So now it has a square around what I want. So any of these other little squares it has, um, we're not worried about. I'm gonna go ahead and change it from color to black and white. And I'm gonna change it from JPEG to PNG. And I'm gonna scan it to my desktop. Once I've done all of that, do our final scan. Once we have our image scanned and on our desktop, as you can see right there, we are ready to upload it into Design Space. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Upload Image. 
it is a basic upload. So I'm going to hit continue to step one. I'm going to hit browse. There's my image right there. It's a complex image. Continue to step two. Now at this point, you can do one of two things. You can clean up the whole stamp image or we can go ahead and just pick the image we want to work with. I want to go ahead and work with this. You are my favorite stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and click the crop tool. I'm going to crop just that stamp and it's going to bring up just that stamp. Now what we need to do is clean up this image and we're going to use some advanced tools for that. So I'm going to go back to my magic wand here. I'm going to hit show advanced option and we're going to be using the color tolerance tool here. Now it presets at 16 for you, but I'm going to go ahead and set it to 100. And this is going to bring it as close to that black line as possible, which is what we want. So at 100 color tolerance, I'm going to go ahead and click the outside. I'm going to click the inside and then I'm going to click all of these little tiny marks in here. Now we can go ahead and go to the eraser tool and turn it up just a smidgen and get rid of the sizing here. The last thing we have is these and then you're my favorite. Now the you're my favorite, as you can see, let's zoom in here, is pretty dainty. So we need to turn down our color tolerance a little bit because if not, let me show you what happens if we leave it at 100%. Watch what happens to the O. That one doesn't look too bad. Let's keep going and see what happens here. Sometimes what will happen is it will give what I call a spider effect. Oh, there you see it on the T. See what it did there on the T? Kind of gave it a spider effect. Um, and by turning down your color tolerance, it will fix that. So if we were to go to the cut lines, um, I'm not too wild about the way the favorite looks. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and I'm going to turn down my color tolerance to a 50%. And then I'm going to go back and try that again and see what it looks like. And just by turning down that color tolerance, um, you will see that it will a lot of times fix your issue you're having. And in this case, um, it didn't completely go all the way. So we're going to turn the tolerance up. And sometimes on the tolerance, especially on these stamps, this is the process you'll have to go through until you find the one that you like. And of course, it all depends on the stamp you are using. Um, the stamps can be a little bit more trickier the smaller the stamp is. Like this favorite part is a little bit more trickier because it is more of a daintier stamp. So you know what? I'm going to go back to 100 for favorite and then the T I will do at 75%. That seemed to be my best look. And then we're going to go ahead and turn this down to 75% for the T. Let's take a look at our cut lines and then zoom all the way out. And if we are happy with it, we can go ahead and hit continue to step three and save image. That's going to save it under these uploaded images, which is going to save right here. We can go ahead and select that, insert the images, and it's going to bring it up in design space. So there it is right there. Now we can go ahead and now go into insert images and we want to look for this set. And this was the posh set. So I'm going to go to all image sets and I'm going to look up posh. And there is the posh set and these should all match your stamp set size. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the one that matches this, which is this one right here. And I'm going to hit insert image. 
And now we can go ahead and adjust this to the size we need it to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this to white. And we're gonna go ahead and let's size this to, just for demonstration, to a height of five inches. And then we're gonna size this to a height of five inches. And it should match up because they are complementing images. And we're gonna go ahead and move this one to the front. And then I'm just gonna kinda of move this around until I like it. And then on this one here, instead of obviously being cut, we want to draw it. So I'm or write it, excuse me. So I'm gonna hit write. And then we of course can change it to whatever color. So of course they have tons of cut different colors because they've released some new pens. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and change it to, let's go ahead and change it to this blue. Let's go ahead and do the silver metallic and see how that changes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw a box around that and hit attach. And we are ready to go. Let's go ahead and see how this turns out. I'm gonna hit go. And then like anything else in Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna go ahead and follow my on-screen instructions. And let's see how this well, before project Before we go to the machine, out. I forgot to show you one of my tricks on uh, doing this. Um, and it's a huge trick and a huge thing that you wanna make sure you do successfully. Um, when I started doing this, I noticed a lot of times my uh, writing feature wasn't lining up with the paper. And the reason why is in a reality, you'd be stamping this on to your coordinating image. So you want a little bit of that paper to show through. So if you notice, your paper and your stamped image are a little bit different in sizes. So this is 4.99 and it's width of 3.7 where the coordinating image underneath of it is five and 3.77. So the first thing we need to do to show you this trick is we need these to be exactly the same size. So I want this to match up with this. So this here is 3.77 by five. So I wanna change this, turn off my little lock and I want this to be 3.77 and then I want this to be down here to be five. So then it's exactly the same size, 3.77 by five, 3.77 by five, which is what we want. The next thing we need to do is up here in your left-hand corner, you have a little tiny box. We're gonna turn that on and this is gonna give you basically a whole bunch of grids on your screen. These are X, Y axes on your screen, which is what we want. This is going to line up our image perfectly so you're gonna get a perfect alignment for your writing feature on top of your image below. So we're gonna select our first one and we're going to position it at an X and Y position, X and Y position, one and one. One and one, and that's gonna go off of this point right here. See how it's highlighted in green? X and Y, one and one. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna highlight this and we're gonna change it to an X of 1.0 and we're gonna change it to a Y of 1.0. And essentially what we've done now, as you can see, is we've done a perfect alignment. This is perfectly centered, both up, down, left to right, Mwah. I love it, love it. I love using X and Y's and I can't believe I forgot to show you that. I am a bad little instructor, horrible. So now we can go ahead and attach this bad boy and now we can go back to the machine and cutting the magical thing. All right guys, that's my little trick. Thanks for coming back, coming back and seeing the trick. Let's go back to the machine and see it cut. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and load the mat. Following our on the screen instructions, we're gonna load the pen. I'm gonna use a nice pink pen. We're gonna lift up here, that's how you load the pens, and then click until it clicks, and then close. Then I'm gonna just press the go button. And that's when it's gonna start drawing the stamp that we brought in. It is all done.
And there you go. A nice way to use these stamp sets if you're not a stamper on the Cricut Explorer is to use the writing feature, as I like to say to draw it, but to write it using your Cricut pens, all you have to do is scan the top sheet into your scanner, import it in, and then clean up the image, and then you can go ahead and use all those stamps using Cricut pens and writing it. So, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. This works with any acrylic stamps that come with that nice top layer feature that you can nicely scan in using your scanner. So um, I've done it with multiple different stamp sets. So definitely very easy process. So I hope you guys learned something. So make sure you guys are checking out my blog over at www.creativeken.blogspot.com. Make sure you're subscribing to my YouTube channel where you can check out all my Cricut Explorer videos where I'll show you other tips and tricks like this coming up real soon. Make sure you're checking out my Twitter page, my Facebook page, my Instagram page, basically any place that you can find Ken's Creation on the internet. And thanks so much for checking out today's video. I hope this trick helped all those people out there that got the stamp sets that really don't know what to do with them because they're not a big stamper like I was. So this is a great way for you to use those stamp sets and uh, hopefully make something beautiful and magical. So go out there and create something magical. If you have not gotten these stamp sets, you can absolutely still get them over at Cricut.com. I'll give you all the links over at my blog. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by and taking a look at today's video. Go out there and create something magical.